Hey, what's going on guys? It's Boy Running, coming back in another video today. We're going to take a look at Patrick Mahomes and wondering why you only had three offers coming out of high school. Before we get into this, guys, remember to smash that like button and subscribe. Only 5% of the people that watch my videos are even subscribed, so let's get right into this, guys. It was offered from Texas Tech, Oklahoma State, and Rice. Those are the only three colleges that really offered him a scholarship. Okay, we're just going to lower this so I don't get copyright. But you can see he's got he's got the arm power. We 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 know he's had that skill. He's had the athletic ability. He's always had it. I think a lot of coaches were really just like worried about what he could what his ability was really coming out of high school. Cause the other thing is he was a very risky he was a very risk taking quarterback, it seemed like. And that's where I mean that's where he succeeds now in the NFL is he's a very risk taking quarterback. He'll make crazy throws. You see, he has this throwing ability. It's now that he's accepted and he's not nervous, I feel, is probably where he's succeeding now. Is that he's believing in himself more. Allowing him to be able to make these play, make better plays against opponents. Because, I mean, he, he has the arm talent. You can easily see that his arm talent has always been there. I think maybe his idea of the game has was the thing holding him back was his mental awareness. But his arm talent was, has always been considerably just outmatching everybody he's ever played against. You can see a lot of his pet he doesn't throw a lot of like short a lot of like short passes or his passes coming up short for his receivers. Because he has the arm talent able to make a play. I do think that th that's why he succeeds. He has the ability to never really to make to put his receivers as the only people in positions as long as they're fast enough to get in front of the ball. I mean, being a three sport varsity athlete is very difficult, especially with the fact of being a quarterback having to memorize the playbook. There are a lot of players having to have playing playing three sports is so difficult. Is, and, and being dominant at all three, you could be extremely athletic, but there are times where, especially as a quarterback, it's super hard because you need to memorize an entire playbook. I mean, you could easily see that he has the athletic ability. Well, the higher star. The one thing that you can easily tell is a lot of it it is probably coming down to some of the reads that we don't see in his highlights. And maybe that's why. Is you can see that sometimes he doesn't make the right read. He'll just go for just the deep ball sometimes. I mean, there, you can see he had 15 wide open. But he didn't go for the right read. He went for the fat, he went for the longer pass and the more riskier pass. And that's probably why he wasn't as recruited is he went for the more game wise maybe not the best optimal choice but he went for the big plays we see that now that's where he strives in and he's able to make plays out of them but coming at that's not something a lot of college coaches wanted to see and the fact that he, he had this arm is probably is the main reason probably why he succeeded in Cliff Kingsbury's offense of a high air raid offense. Because you can see that that's where he'll succeed is in a high air raid offense. Deep balls, deep passes. You see that a lot of his passes were deep ball, pa or deep ball passes because he has the arm strength. You 
you see that he doesn't always go. He, he just go a lot of these passes. You see, Aaron just check down passes. There are a lot of just passes that are going for a big play, and that could be part of the reason because you could see that there are some times where he has guys wide open in like flats, but he'll not take them because. You see somebody that has a possibility of getting open deep downfield and make a big that can make a big play. I mean right here that was a very risky play. He got lucky that his receiver was able to get to it. He threw it perfectly, but he makes these risky plays that just sometimes don't lead to the best of options. But yeah guys, that was Matt Holmes as um, senior season highlights, not a lot, because it was more of his just main highlights, but you could see that he, his main issue is just, he's a risky quarterback, we've seen this in the NFL, we see this now, he's just been a big deep threat guy, pass the ball heavy, does this, uh, does a lot of heavy passing, and makes the risky plays, it's worked out in his favor a lot, and he's learned to grow and make better plays off it, but yeah guys, that's all we got, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, peace.